Hi everyone, Wednesday in the Word with Wes. A little bit cooler day here in Bancroft today and uh, got me thinking about uh, colder temperatures coming. In fact, uh, even still this afternoon in, in parts of the York River here, maybe you can see it behind me, there's just this thin covering of, of ice in certain places. And as I was thinking about the York today, I was thinking about its importance to the settlement of our area and to those uh, who were uh, traveling and working and living here for so many different uh, uses and ways. And it got me thinking about the importance of that image of water in scripture. And uh, in John chapter seven, Jesus picks up on this imagery and use of water. And in John 7, 37, he offers us one of the uh, most amazing invitations uh, in scripture. He says this, on the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. Isn't that amazing that Jesus invites you and me to come to him so that our, our, our spiritual longings and desires would be satisfied. And then he makes an even more amazing statement. He says, for those of us that experience that living water, streams of living water will flow from within us. That by his spirit, uh, he is going to allow us to bring this uh, message of salvation, the message of, of hope and his presence and, and comfort to all who will, who will hear and listen. And so today, uh, I want to encourage you to come to Jesus for living water, to come to him with uh, every need that you have, but also for those of us that know Jesus, to seek for ways to be used by him that we might declare uh, the, the hope and the joy and the peace that we have found uh, in his presence. And so let's pray for that today. God, we thank you for uh, water, uh, for water that sustains us. And though I don't think I would wanna drink from the York River here behind me, uh, I, I do, I am grateful for uh, the water that uh, physically uh, restores and refreshes and renews us. And, and God, I am so grateful that spiritually speaking, Jesus is the living water who invites us to drink from himself. And then by the power and work of your Holy Spirit, God, um, fills us so that we could be used by you to serve and come alongside of and care for and, and meet the needs of others. And so, uh, Lord God, today we pray that uh, we would come to Jesus for everything that we need and that we would be used of Jesus to declare uh, where true water, living water, is to be found. And so we thank you for today and all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.